All right, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. This is Jerry from BSK Garage. Today, we're going to look at this Raytech Ford 8.8 .8 pinion depth setting tool that says right there that we're going to try to figure out the pinion depth in this 8.8. .8. So, I really don't have any numbers. It says 160. Not sure how I'm supposed to relate to that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the instructions right here where it says measure the thickness of the pinion head subtracted dimension for from 4.420 the answer is the checking distance number needed then proceed through one through five so i got the pinion so you want to measure obviously where your shims are going to sit and want to zero that out so let me just so it looks like one point Eight eight five, give or take. Okay. So four point four two zero is our reference number. The measurement off the pinion is one point eight eight five, gives us two point five three five. Now, according to instructions, I want to put the pinion tool in, no shims, and tighten it up to take the slack out of the bearings pinion right there I'll set that in place come over to this side put the other one on so now it's going to tighten that down take up the slot Slack ain't taken up there. There. Slack's taken up. So I got the pinion tool. You may have to trim that nylon knob. And that's obviously going to fit in that hole. So when you set it in, according to instructions, you hold it with your left hand to hold it down. That's your measurement on the side. Take your dial caliper. We're going to stick it do that slot right there and try to get ourselves a measurement right hold this with my hand coming down got a measurement so now i gotta take the measurement that's on the tool 2.989 and minus it from the measurement that we got so we got 2.989 and point 404 so that gives us 2.585 now we need to subtract these two numbers so according to the calculations it should be 0 0.05 well we're gonna try this see what happens and of course with any gear install in order to check your depth you really have to set it up and since I'm using setup bearings, I'm setting the preload according to what used bearings would be. Put it in the carrier, get your shim sorted out. Make sure the backlash is where it's supposed to be. I like to loosely tighten them up. Take my rubber mallet, tap it to kind of get the bearing set, then torque it. Once it's torqued, I check the backlash. Paint the gears. Roll it around. And then check your pinion markings. And hopefully they turn out good. So using the pinion measuring tool, got me close. I'm a little deep on the pinion. I'd like to try to come out just a little bit. So it went from 0 0.05 to 0.045, and I am liking the pattern a lot better. So 
see where it's transferred off over there. So in the end, once I figured out the calculation how to do it, it got me close, 0 0.005 out, which isn't a huge deal at all. I mean, that could be partly because I was using setup bearings and not the original bearings, but you really don't want to be pressing the new bearings on and off and have a chance of risk damaging them. So this tool came in handy. Whether or not I'm ever going to use it again in my life is another story because I don't plan to build another 8.8, .8, but if I have issues with this one, I guess I'll have to use it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you in the next one.